Hey, this is Derek for ILoveItSpicy.com. This is going to be kind of a different review than you've seen. I am in a top secret location out in the Sonoran Desert, and last night I nabbed a blacktail jackrabbit, and that's what I'm eating right now. I thought that'd be great to try this hot sauce on. Red snapper hot sauce. This is the Cajun snapper hot chili pepper sauce. Beautiful label. I mean, come on, that's classic and beautiful. The whole story over here that you can read, um, it's on the website. This one has just chili peppers, vinegar, sugar, onions, iodized salt, spices, and garlic. Amazing texture, amazing color on this. It's fairly thin, as you'd expect. It's a Louisiana type hot sauce here. Matter of fact, it was, let's see here, prior to 1895 at Wildwood Plantation near Port Hudson, Louisiana is when it was originally developed. So that's pretty cool. Alright, I'm going to have to click this, turn this off, open it up all the way, because I need both hands to do it, and then I will try this product. Alright, I rigged it so I can sit in my car and use both hands. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's a nice, robust flavor. I mean, smell. It's got some uh, smokiness to it, some vinegary, um, but not disgusting vinegary. I mean, a nice balance. I'm real sensitive to the, the vinegar smell, and this doesn't have a lot of it. It's just enough. It's perfectly balanced out. I don't know what kind of spices they're using, but they're making my mouth water. So, just grabbed a little piece of the rabbit here. Let me go ahead and try this sauce on it. Try not to pour it into my car. It's got a good amount of burn to it. It's perfect. And it's got a good flavor too. This is really nice. This is going to allow you, the, the people out there who want the spice but also want the flavor, going to be able to do it with this. I find a lot of times the ones that have all the flavor and uh, in order to get the heat you have to just dump it on and dump it on and dump it on in order to get that flavor that you want and equal to the heat that you want. This one's got it both combined. You don't have to go too crazy with the sauce to feel that heat. And likewise you don't have to go too crazy with the sauce to get a good flavor out of it. The sauce can go a long way because of that. It's really good. Not too salty. Um, the chili pepper taste is very pronounced. It is the first ingredient here, followed by vinegar. But I'm really not picking up a lot of vinegary taste. And like I said, I don't like vinegar. And this is, this is good. This is something I would like as a non-vinegar person. So let's see here. It says it's hot. I would agree. Since I have a little time, let me read you this cool story real fast. Harris originally developed this fine pepper sauce prior to 1895 at Wildwood Plantation near Port Hudson, Louisiana. For some years following it, well, it was for some years following it was widely distributed throughout the state. Sometime after 1912, he vanished, leaving his badly troubled marriage, thriving business, and Louisiana never to be heard from again. Sixth generation of McVees have preserved his secret recipe. We are proud to share our legacy from Harris with you. Red snapper sauce, fine relish for meat, oysters, fish, soups, etc. And that etc. clearly means black tail jackrabbit that I caught last night. Um, red snapper sauce out of Port Hudson, Louisiana. Very fine sauce, guys. I dig this. Four and a half stars. Four and a half flaming hearts all the way. I love this stuff. Thank you, guys.